How's it going, everybody? Well, it's official. The Yankees have announced they've officially called up outfielder Trey McGee from Scranton Wilkesbury to the Bronx and the Yankees. Let's go. About time. I'm pumped for Trey McGee. Let's go. Trey McGee uh, hit 312 this year, triple A, seven home runs, 35, 35 RBIs in 38 games there down there in Scranton. He's a great outfielder, uh, really great, solid hitter. Uh, walks a lot, gets on base a ton, and I'm um, really earning this, earning this shot here. Um, been calling for him for a long time, but obviously, I remember watching him firsthand down in Trenton. I tried in Thunder, he was an all star 2018. He was there most of the game that summer, and everything. And just uh, every year, he got better and better until he deserved a shot. We called up to the Yankees, and I'm excited to see what he can do. Uh, th same thing with Giddens, whether he does good or he does bad, you know what? He deserved a shot. I'm glad the Yankees finally decided to give him a shot, the opportunity. That's all you can ask for the opportunity. We'll see what he does with it up there in the Bronx. Now, in addition to uh, Trey Amber getting called up, the Yankees have announced they have recalled um, Zach Britton off the injury list, back on the active roster. And then also, Nestor Cortez and Wandy Peralta on, go on the COVID list. Well, after the All-Star break, we go on the COVID list. Nestor, it stinks. It really sucks, man. Nestor, obviously, I said in my previous video, might be the Friday starter here against the series. 0-0 oh, no, with a uh, 105 ERA and 25.2 innings so far season. Really so, so good, Nestor. Greatest spot started, everything, but sucks. But hey, gotta deal with it. And we'll see what happens next. That's all I got today. And we're getting called up finally. Uh, Britain back and Peralta and Cortez go on the COVID list. That's all I got. Enjoy today's video. Please give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the show. And as always, go Yanks.